And the very last thing okay. that we're going to do today is um, talk about tops. Now, now, spinning tops is something that is hard for anybody to understand, even people with PhDs in physics, because there's so many different forces and things going on. It has to do with torque and momentum and I don't even know. Words that we don't even know. Lots the and lots of. and lots of things and, 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 and centrifugal force and gravity and all these things. But anyway, what is interesting about tops, number one, is just to show kids that they do, in fact, flop over when they're not spinning and they stand up when they are spinning, right? So that mm -hmm. is a great thing to just to get your kids observing. The reason we think these tops are especially cool is because they're called um, uh, optical illusion tops. Now, optical illusions are an interesting thing to try to explain to a little one, but basically your eye sees what it sees, but sometimes it makes up information when it can't quite make out what it's seeing. Right. So in this case, when you look at it straight on, it just looks like a swirl, mm -hmm. but when you spin it, it looks like circles, mm -hmm. okay? This one looks like blue and red, right? But when you spin it, see it looks Ooh. like stripes? Yeah. Okay. So, so the main thing to do here is to make tops with your kids that make optical illusions. So, oh yeah, so you can this just is make what this at home. all you do is you cut out a piece of cardstock, and everybody has cardstock right now because you can just recycle Christmas cards and just oh. cut a circle out of it, and then just use the backside where it's white, and then um, make a design on it. And in this case, we used um, uh, just dots. And when you you can see when you spin the dots, it turns into a line instead of your eye sees a line. It's like the solar oh, yeah. system where, the, where there's only dots, right? Yeah. And all you do is you take a toothpick and you stick it through. And here we use some hot glue. You can use tape or you can just use nothing at all. And your kids can try to spin them. And this is also um, a great exercise in teaching kids about balance again. Because if they don't cut out their circle perfectly or they don't get the toothpick through the center perfectly, it's going to flop over That's and right. not spin as well, right? And getting your kids to try to get one that works just right will take an hour or two of their time. Yeah. Because they can just keep experimenting and experimenting until they get it right.